Hello, we're going to take you through the SR124 Barford uh, Scalper screener today and take you through the operation of getting set up and blessed. to do is we're going to remove the straps that hold the belts and the conveyors uh, for shipping so that was the first step and then we're going to go through the checks that make sense to go through all right the first thing we did is we mounted the hopper extension for the hopper so you can fill more during the screening process this is where you're going to load from We also put the extensions, the skirt, the galvanized steel around the screen box. That's to hold more material as you're screening and the vibration happens. We wanted to check all of the fluids before we start operating the machine. So, first thing we did is we checked the oil. That's right here. Look in here. This is the dipstick right here. This is the fill. We have emissions on this engine. It's a nice machine. Uh, over on this side here, this is where we check the hydraulics. This is the meter right here. It tells you that we have full hydraulics all set, ready to run. The last thing you want to do before you start operating the machine is make sure you hit all the grease fittings. They're all centralized, so it's easy, centralized location, and you want to top off the grease for, for all of that. From there, we want to get the machine up and running. The first thing you do is you turn on the isolator so that you can start your machine. You see it's locked out on a zero. This separates the battery, it's the lockout, so that gets power to the machine. And then over here is where you start. It's pretty simple to do. Turn it over until you hear the beep. Once the beeping is done, you can then continue to turn to start the machine. Now the machine is running. Unfold the belts. In this case, we already have the belts unfolded, but let's just show you where some of those operations are. Here we have the operations that control the extension, upright lift of the of the belts. One of the great features of this machine is you can fold it all up tight, load it on a, a trailer, and you can take this machine anywhere you want. And on the other side, we have controls for the close. the front belt and then controls for the other side belt. One thing that we need to show you of course is this is the control valve that's telling you what you're operating. This will control the hopper and the main belt and then you got the extensions or the conveyor belt. These are your controls to isolate where the hydraulics go. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The next thing will be to start running material through and of course you're going to want to load it through the loader.